Hi, I'm Colleen Taylor. You're watching TechCrunch TV. Right behind me is the Bay Bridge in San Francisco, and this is about to be converted into the largest LED light sculpture in the world. It's a project called the Bay Lights that's about to turn on tonight, and it's an interesting mix of technology and art. Investors in the project, which is costing about $10 million, include Yahoo's Marissa Meyer, Ron Conway, Paul Bukite. A lot of big figures in the tech industry are all very involved in this project. So we're here at the press conference. We're going to meet the artist, Leo Villarreal, and talk a little bit about what this means, the technology that's incorporated into it. So follow me. I'm very pleased with the progress that we've had to date in creating the sequences. I've been on the bridge since January, um, sitting here site specifically with it. And that's been very important to me because it's tailor-made for this location. And it's almost like tuning a musical instrument because you want to get it just right. And I've had to view it from many different angles. And that's one of the challenges of this piece is that it's visible uh, from so many different places. So I'm factoring all that in to make sure that people who are right below the bridge are seeing something that's exciting as well as people in you know, Sausalito. Um, so it's a, it's a wide range of uh, considerations. I'm Colleen from TechCrunch. You talked about having built software earlier in your career and being interested in rules and sequences. What's the overlap there between being technical and being artistic? And how do you kind of see yourself straddling that? Well, I have a background in sculpture, so I consider myself always an artist first. Um, but technology was always something I've been intrigued with. Spent a lot of time immersed in, you know, graduate school, research labs here in Palo Alto, deeply involved in creating technology. Um, and, and basically, I have my own small research lab in my studio where I'm developing a lot of circuit boards and getting very deep into it. Uh, but I'm doing this all as an artist. Um, it's not tech for tech's sake. It's really, for me, about the visual manifestation of software in light. And one last question. What was the biggest technical challenge here um, in creating the, the software and the hardware? Well, I think the fact that the bridge is just so big and there's 25,000 lights and we're putting them up in an incredibly harsh environment and 525 feet over the water and 1.8 miles long. And it's, a, it's, a, it's only accessible via lane closure that had to be done at night. So that is very challenging, but the team has been amazing and the, the piece is, is in perfect condition. Great, thank you.